Welcome back everyone, Darren from Pebcac here and today I'm going to be walking you through how to troubleshoot a very common issue whereby your precious desktop files and documents have suddenly disappeared. So stick around and I'll show you what happens, why it happens and what you can do to get those precious files back. I was inspired to make this video after coming across a number of posts like this one here from Max on the slash tech support subreddit. Max says, I was doing my 3D work as usual, restarted my PC and after Restart my PC after a while and all of my desktop files are gone. My desktop is blank and all I have is the default icons but all my files are gone. Help! Once you've worked in uh, tech support for a few years like I have, it's this is something you see quite frequently. Especially if you work in a corporate environment or business environment it and working with Active Directory it happens a lot. But you're not here for that bit of information so let's get to what's likely most happened here. Or most likely happened here in English. Your user account or login is linked to something called your user profile. Your user profile is where all your personal files, your settings, your bookmarks, your application settings, that's where they're all linked to your login, your username and password. Every now and then those user profile settings can get corrupted and that forces your machine to log you in with something called a temporary profile. That acts as though you've never logged into the machine before and gives you a default desktop with all the default desktop icons and all your customizations for everything has gone. You can usually tell this has happened, you usually warn when you get a message like this or like this. As to why this happens, well that's a little bit more tricky to answer. The corruption is most likely within your system registry or within one of your personal files and can be caused by anything from a power outage to a quirk in a bit of software, or more often than not, it's actually a failed Windows update. Yeah, thanks Microsoft. Troubleshooting the exact cause is not always straightforward and not something I'm going to cover in detail in this video, but if it is something you would like to see, then please leave a comment below, drop me a message on Twitter, or join the barren wasteland that is my Discord. Links are in the video description below. Normally, it's a lot quicker to just simply create a new profile and recover those lost files. So let me show you how to go about this. The first thing you're going to want to do is create a new user account on your machine. To do that, click on the start button and type in user. Select the add, edit or remove user accounts and you'll see here I've already created an account to simulate your broken one. But what you want to do is click add someone else to this PC. Now, if you have a Microsoft account or a corporate account or a live.com account, you can sign in with those details. However, if you don't want to be signing in with your account details, you can click this button at the bottom saying I don't have the person's signing information. Wait for that to load. Click add a user without a Microsoft account. And let's give this a new user details. I'm just going to create a fake account here. A nice simple password as soon as my fingers work. and answer the security questions. Now the security questions are actually reasonably important. If you forget your password, this is how you're going to get it back. So I'll put in genuine answers, not like me, because I don't intend on ever using this account again. And there we go. Click next. And there you have it, you have a new account. Now there's one more step you need to do here before you go ahead. You need to click onto this account and choose change the account type. You want to click on administrator and click OK. Now that's an important step for reasons we'll get into in a minute. Once you've got that account created, all you want to do is sign out of the account you're in and in with your new account. Which you can do again, click on the start, click on the little user icon and choose sign out. Now that you're back at this screen, you want to sign in with the new account you just created. Unfortunately, you will need to go through the whole Windows as your friend screen. Hi, we're just getting some awesome things ready for you. This is going to be great. You're going to love it. So sit for a few minutes and go through that. Once you get to this screen, choose the options that most suit you. This is going to be your main account, so choose the ones that are right for you. I'm just going to say no to most of these as, again, I don't intend on using this account. No, no, no. 
And there you go. Now you're at your desktop. You're at your own new desktop. Again, with the default temporary profile. Get rid of any little pop-ups that have come up that you may have, depending on what applications you've got. Now, you're at your default profile, but you now need to get the files back. So where you're going to want to go is into Windows Explorer, which is this little yellow folder here. Click into there. Click into this PC. Now, assuming Windows is installed on your C drive, you want to click in here, if that's D or E or F or whatever it may be for you, go into that, but it is usually the C drive. Double click into there, and you're going to want to go into the Users folder. Now, what you're going to see in here is a folder for each of your user accounts. Ignore the one called Public, don't touch it, don't break it, don't delete it, don't go near it. You're going to look for the account that's named after the profile that just broken. My, in my case, it's called Broken User, but in yours, it will most likely be whatever username you used to log on with. Now you're going to double click in here and you're going to get this message. This is where previously I told you you had to make the account an administrator. If you haven't done that, skip back in the video, rewatch that, make sure you make the account administrator, otherwise you can't go any further. Click continue and it will bring you into the files. Now that may take longer on your machine, it's very quick on here because there are no real files in here, uh, but it's essentially resetting all the permissions on all the files and folders under that user account. Once you're in here, you can go into all your folders and files, grab all the important things you need and just drag them across into your new user profile. So we can put this into my pictures over here on the left, we can go back a step, go into documents i thought i'd created some documents in there oh there we go super important i'm going to put those on the desktop and you'll see as soon as i click that they've appeared on my desktop and if i go into my pictures now i have my internet memes my private pictures and my cat pictures and it really is as simple as that once you've got all your files back and you're happy with that i wouldn't recommend you straight away going and delete this uh, broken user profile but give it a couple of weeks, a couple of months. If it's uh, you not found anything else you're missing, go ahead and delete. This unfortunately won't recover any application settings or system settings. They're much more specific to the applications you use. And I can't really cover every application in this video. You can go back and get any bookmarks from favorites. You can get your music, your pictures, anything you see in here. Uh, you can grab those files back. Once you've got those, as I say, you are now logged in with your new user profile. You've got all your super important documents. You're good to go. I hope this video helped. If it did, then please, please take a minute just to click that like button. Click subscribe. I really appreciate it. If it didn't help and you'd like more help or um, taking this a bit further, then please pop in at my Discord. I'll put links in the description below. They'll appear at the end of the video. It's been a pleasure helping you. Take care and stay safe.